I'm Tony Luke Jr., the co-host of Frankenfood. I started Tony Luke's over 20 years ago from a little shop in South Philly. Now we have over 26 locations worldwide. My definition of a Frankenfood is ingredients that would normally not go together. You would never think of that. So this is a soul food dinner in a muffin. Yes. But when you put them together, they just give you an amazing taste. Yo! Some of my favorite Frankenfoods, macaroni and cheese with lobster, white chocolate, and cheese curls. Oh, but I have to tell you, I'm really enjoying it. And what about a cheeseburger cheesecake? You heard me. The Franken factor is through the freaking roof. Is he getting more decadent than that? No. One of the biggest mistakes people make is instead of using flavors that complement each other, they'll take a dominant flavor and load it all over the dish. I think it's overly sweet. I don't think you needed all the brown sugar on top of the graham cracker. And that kills them every time. How about I taste the fried Oreo and you guys taste everything else? No, <laughs> no. When I met my co-host Josh, there was an instant connection. He's a brilliant chef. It was spicy up front, but it was balanced with pickled vegetables. What Josh brings to the show is those details about cooking. Cheese curd is a very bland cheese. If this was jalapeno cheddar, this would have been a Franken food. All right, guys, you remember $10,000 on the line? Let's make it count. People are going to like Franken food because there's a passion for food that screams off this show. Plus, you're gonna be going, you know what? I wanna make some creative, cause I got the next great Franken food. It draws you in and won't let you out.